Hi, this is Dan Malloy continuing with a series of GMAT quant problems. Half an hour after car A has started traveling from Newtown to Old Town, a distance of 62 miles, car B started traveling along the same road from Old Town to Newtown. The cars meet each other on the road 15 minutes after car B started its trip. If car A traveled a constant rate that was 8 miles per hour greater than car B's constant rate, how many miles had car B driven when they met? Okay, this is a classic problem. Probably the best way to get our head around this is to draw a picture, and then we'll do some of the algebra. So we have, let's actually draw the road, right, from Newtown to Old Town. We got Newtown, Old Town. And the distance between the two is 62 miles. So we have car B starts traveling from Old Town to Newtown after car A starts traveling from Newtown to Old Town. So let's put A at the starting line over here. He's going this way. And we'll put B at the start line over here. He's headed that way. And their takeoff times are separated by 30 minutes. So let's keep that in mind. And they meet each other on the road 15 minutes after car B starts. So that means B's only on the road for 15 minutes. And now we have car A traveled at a constant rate that was 8 miles per hour greater than car B's rate. So now we know something about the relationship of their rates. They're both traveling at constant rates, but car A is going 8 miles per hour faster. So car A is leaving earlier and traveling faster. So, and the question is, how many miles has car B driven when they met? So let's write down some things that we know in a more algebraic way. We have this 62 mile distance and they're going to meet at some point in the middle. And since car A is traveling faster and starts earlier, we can assume that A travels farther than B. I don't know exactly how much farther yet, and that's what we're looking to find out, but um, it's certainly going to be closer to B. So I put this point here. This is their meeting point. So if we call the distance traveled by A, everything between A's meeting point, A's starting point and where they meet, and then everything to the right of that we'll call the distance that B traveled, since B travels from its starting point to the same meeting point. And we know the total distance between Newtown and Old Town is 62 miles, so we can say for sure that the distance traveled by A plus the distance traveled by B is 62 miles. We also know that distance, in, in general we know that distance equals rate times time. So that must be true for both of them. They have different distances, different rates, and different times, but for each of them their distance equals their rate times their time. So from there we can say something about the time. Right away we can say the time of B is only 15 minutes or a quarter of an hour. And the reason I'm using hours is because the rates are in miles per hour, so I don't want to mix units, otherwise we'll get some weird answer that won't make sense. And A leaves half an hour earlier, so the time of A must be 3 quarters of an hour or 45 minutes, so I'll say 0.75 hours. So we actually know their times already. Their rates we only know relatively. We know that B has some rate, and RA, the rate of A, its rate is 8 miles an hour faster than the rate of B. So we know that their rates have this specific relationship. So let's replace in this equation DA and DB with the, the product of their rate and their time. So the distance of A is the rate of A times the time of A. And the distance of B is the rate of B times the time of B. And that has to equal 62. The times we know both of them, so we'll just plug in what they are. And if we substitute for RA what it is in terms of RB, then we'll have only one variable in the equation, and then we can solve it. So RA is really RB plus 8, because car A is going 8 miles an hour faster than car B. And that's being multiplied by the time of A, which is 3 quarters of an hour, or 45 minutes, plus the rate of B, which we don't
don't know what it is, it's what we're looking for, times the time of B, which is 15 minutes or a quarter of an hour, and that has to equal 62. So on the left side, if we distribute the 0.75, we get 0.75 RB plus 6 plus 0.25 RB equals 62. And then if we collect like terms, we have 3 quarters of RB plus a quarter of RB is just RB. 1 plus 6 equals 62. So therefore, RB must equal 56. 56 what? Well, it's a rate and we use miles uh, and hours, so it should be miles per hour and pH. Um, but what were we looking for? We were looking for how many miles had car B driven. So we're looking for DB, not RB. But now that we know RB, we also know TB. So we can just say distance of B equals the rate of B, which we now know, 56 miles per hour, times the time of B, which is quarter of an hour, 15 minutes, and a quarter of 56 is 14. So that's the answer, so that's choice A. And as a sense check, you can say, does it make sense that B only covered 14 miles, which means car A had to cover the entire rest of the distance, which is um, 48 miles. And it does make sense because we know car A left 30 minutes sooner and traveled faster, so we expect it to cover much more of the distance than car B. So A is the best choice.